Hello and welcome to our series on Ireland's trees. In this episode, we look at one of our non-native species, one of our most common species, one of the species that has been planted in huge numbers, thousands upon thousands have been planted over the last 50 or 60 years or so, the Sitka spruce. Sitka spruce is one of our conifer species. There are over 600 different species of conifer in the world, and about 40 of those are spruce. And Sitka spruce is the one that's preferred by the forestry industry in Ireland. Sitka is a town in Alaska, and that hints at where the tree is from. These trees, they grow up along the western seaboard, only in a thin, thin line along the western seaboard. You won't find them very far inland on the Pacific coast of America. They like our thin soils, and they like our never-ending moisture. They like the temperate rainforest habitats that we have. And the constant rain, the constant moisture coming off the Atlantic Ocean suits them very, very well. And they can grow very tall, very quickly, as you can see from this big specimen behind me. Sitka spruce can grow happily up to 40 metres tall in Ireland, even a bit taller than that. And in their native range, in Vancouver Island, for instance, there's one specimen that's 95 metres tall and 5 metres wide. They can grow into enormous trees, capturing huge amounts of carbon and sucking up huge amounts of water, helping to dry out the land. They're a controversial tree in Ireland because they're often grown just for one reason and one reason only, and that is as a crop. So they're grown because they'll grow very fast and they can be harvested, and then that wood about 90% of the wood that is harvested is used for paper pulp and furnitures and other things, capturing the carbon and storing that carbon within. However, they have very low nature value. They don't support much nature. Like so many non-native species, our native birds, our native insects are not so used to them. So spruce forests tend not to hold very much nature. One of the easiest ways to identify Sitka spruce is by its bark. It has all these little flaky bits of bark which come off very easily and on the underside they look like little pieces of jigsaw and on the underside you'll see this pink tinge to them and that's one of the ways that Sitka spruce jumps out and is very easily identified. Another way that Sitka spruce stands out is that it's often planted very very close together and the lower branches die off dropping all their little needles, all their little evergreen leaves. So when you look up Sitka spruce trees, you'll often see a huge amount of dead branches sticking out until you get right to the very top, to the engine room on top where the little green leaves are there, capturing the carbon, turning it into carbohydrates. Another easy way to identify spruce trees is by their cones. Of course, all conifer, conifer trees have cones and they store the seeds or at least the female cones do. The male cones have disintegrated in the tree. But these cones are very soft and very papery. Inside is a huge number of seeds, but it's the feel of the cone that will give it away, that you know it's some kind of spruce species. And then these short little brown cones, that's the Sitka spruce. Another way to identify all spruce species, not just Sitka spruce, is that when you pull off the needles, the twig that's left behind has these little sharp stumps. So it makes for a very rough twig. If you ever see them on the ground and all these little stumps sticking out, you know it's a species of spruce, not fir or other similar conifers. So at one stage, over 80% of the island of Ireland was covered in forest. And of course it was covered in native forest, trees like oak, ash, elm birch, rowan and hazel. And they supplied so much of the diversity and so much of the sustenance for a lot of our other native species, both plants and animals. A criticism of Sitka spruce plantations is that they support very, very little life. So you can see how dark it is in here. There is nothing growing or very little growing. Some mosses, some tough ferns, and some bird species will be able to get sustenance from the cones. But other than that, there's very little life. And currently, 13% of Ireland is covered in forest, and about half of that is Sitka spruce, supporting very little life. Yes, capturing carbon, yes, filtering a certain amount of water out of the ground, but it's not supporting our biodiversity. 